everybody welcome back to southern witch pay no attention to this box this is my black christmas tree um we're doing an unboxing today Ooh, i'm so excited i literally just got this i haven't even opened it but this is from sugar muses and this is how it comes it's just a plain box nobody really knows what's going on with with these boxes so let's get into this get the wax off my little thing here very excited. This is the first. Uh, this is the September box. Um, I've been getting this box since about June. And I absolutely love this box. It makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, this is the Midnight Muses box for September. And let's see. Let's go ahead and get into it. So. Yeah. Open it up. If, if it will let me. Okay. Awesome. This is what it looks like when you first open it. It's really pretty. And on the top, let's go ahead and set, let me set it out of the way. On the top, it says Midnight Muses Persephone Descent. This is celebrating Mabin. And this is a whole list of stuff that tells you what's in the box and all that fun thing. I'm going to leave it over here so in case I need to reference it, I can. Now, let's, let's go. I'm sorry I look terrible. I just took a shower after doing a lot of yard work. But the first thing we have on top is this print from Mabin. Pretty. It's got a raven up here, and this was designed. Uh, this is digital artwork by Christy at SugarMuses.com, and it is basically a print of what Mabin is. So we have that. I'm just gonna set that there. The next thing on top is our intuitive oracle card that we get every month. So let's see. I don't like tearing these because I reuse these envelopes um, in my grimoire to hold you know, little things. Oh, wow, look at the back of this. This is gorgeous. Really dark, really creepy. And this is, this is my Oracle card. Now, I don't know what deck this is from but i am definitely going to have to find out because this card look at that see that it's really cool looking to me i love stuff like this and this is thick cardstock now this might be like a knight or a page of wands or swords i don't know but i really love this card I'm going to put it back in here, and moving on. So, the first thing on top after I open up the tissue paper is the Sugar Muses card that has all of their information on it. And I always love these cards. They always, to me, look so cool. And I have charcoal on my hands. All right, first thing is this little thing here in the front. Oh. Now this looks like wheat and some flowers all the way around. I'm not sure what it is. But. So I started filming this earlier and then I had to go get food. I was hungry. So yeah. I think we left off at this, which is a botanical bundle of like wheat and stuff like that. I have to look it up on my sheet right here. And it says, it's for altar decor and spells are used as an offering on your altar. It's for abundance growth, bounty protection, uh, and it has wheat, rosemary, wormwood, mugwort, cornflowers, and dried flowers. So that makes perfect sense. But that's what that's what this is, and 
It kind of smells like rosemary and a little bit like lavender. You can't really smell the mugwort. All right, next thing. I love these things. These things are so great. All right, so let's get some of these off. We have, uh, we have third eye balm. I don't know if that's wanting to. focus or not. Oh my gosh, I can't open this. <laughs> oh, this is really hard to open. It doesn't twist. It doesn't pop off. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, I got it! So excited. Hmm. You guys, it kind of smells like weed. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And it's, it's, it's a little, just a little jar. It kind of feels like a paste. But let's put this back on there. Slip that out of the way. Next we have, oh wow, we have incense. And there's about eight sticks here. Of this and it kind of smells like cinnamon and clove but yes you always get incense in this box I'm gonna set that right there next we have looks like an oil it's an oil And this is Autumn Moon Ritual Oil. And then on the back it tells you what's in it. But yes, so. Uh, let's open this up and smell it. Okay. It kind of smells citrusy. It smells nice though. I like it. You can, and these are body grade. You can wear these. Um, and they smell super good. And I see a, I have my little tea bag, which means my tea is in here somewhere. Hmm. My tea will be in here somewhere, so I'm going to set this aside until I get to my tea. Next we have, we have three little jars. And a lot of times there's like casting salts and an incense mix of some kind. So what do we have? Ah. I almost dropped that. So those are our casting salts. And these are, I think these are like 10, 15 milliliter bottles. So. our salts and then we have barrel and I'm pretty sure that your the paper instructions will tell me what barrel is for and then last we have your know, dried rose petals and they look really super good next we have a stone. Get this undone. I really like this bag. It's shiny. <laughs> I kind of like shiny things. So what do we have here? Okay. It's just a, a white stone. And I don't know if you can see it's got like this little line through it right here. Yes, I don't even know what kind of stone this is. It doesn't look like a lot of the other ones I have. Okay, I don't actually have this one. This is white agate. And I love that this one is, like, it's kind of flat. 
but I love this stone. This is nice. I don't have one of those. I am going to lose my mind with all the papal squiggies. All the paper squiggies. Set those there. I even have paper squiggies in my lap. Ah. Ah. Here's my tea. And this is citrus mint tea. And it has peppermint, lemongrass, spearmint, lemon verbena, and lemon balm. And this is a caffeine free tea. And I love that they actually put on there that it is caffeine free. But some boxes that send you teas don't do that. But yes, I love it. So there's that one. Oh, it's really a nightmare with this stuff. Okay, so, oh, okay. We have a female shaped candle that is black. I'm actually, you can't really see it too good through this. So I'm going to open this really quick. And we get a good look at this candle. And this is some hard plastic. Oh, wow. Um, kind of don't want to tear up my candle. There we go. For a second, that's why I sniffed this. Yeah. Here's our female candle. And this is a really hard wax, so. But yes, there's it's a really cool candle, actually. I've never had a shaped candle before. Not like that. All right, let's see. Last. Looks like it's last. Yes, it's last. <laughs> oh my God. So, you have a set of dice. And they, I can't tell what they're made of. They've got some weight, but they're not super heavy. But you got a gold one, and you got a silver one. And... Let me tell you guys, I love skulls. Like, you know, it's my boyfriend, my mom. I like dark and creepy things. I have a giant set of dice with skulls on them. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what these are for, but I don't care. I'm totally down for this. Let's see. So... Ah, Underworld Skull Dice. Uses altered decor, and it really does say it is not, not as capitalized, recommended that you throw the dice because they may break. They are handmade of resin. Okay. Um, so, some may have slight imperfections. Uh, they work really good on plush carpet. Um... You can use them for dice divination. Um, roll the first dice. That represents the situation. Second dice is the action that needs to be taken. And then it goes into some more uh, stuff about understanding dice divination. So, this is a divination tool. I can totally get on board with that. I've never done divinations with dice. I use pendulums or I use cards or oracle decks or something like that. So this, this is actually really cool. So I'm going to, I'm going to give that a go and see how that does.